Hey, Savvy Subscribers, we're going to get right to it today. I'm going to give you my quick cold calling tips. And yes, you can be effective at cold calling too. Right after this, I'm going to give you six tips. Keep watching. If you're like most salespeople, you probably hate cold calling, right? That's really because you don't have the right skills in order to be effective at cold calling. So let's get down to business now. Tip number one, calm yourself. Before you pick up that phone and start dialing, pause and take some deep breaths in order to calm yourself down and it helps lower your voice. Tip number two, don't play games and don't try to trick the gatekeeper. This is so unprofessional. Stand in integrity. These kinds of game playing is what gives salespeople a bad name. Always be fully transparent. State your name and the company that you work for. Tip number three, be authentic and friendly. If you're not sure who you need to talk to at that company, just say it. When the receptionist answers the phone, say, this is Christine Harrington with the Savvy Sales Lady. I'm hoping you can help me. I'm not really sure who I need to talk to, so maybe you can point me in the right direction. I'm looking for the director of, and then whatever department that you're looking for. I do a lot of cold calling, and whenever I'm authentic and friendly, I never have a problem getting the information I need from the receptionist. It's never been a problem for me. You have to be casual, friendly, and confident. If they give me a name, I'll say, thank you so much. Can you go ahead and transfer me? And before you do, could you give me his direct number in case we get disconnected? I'm on a cell phone right now. Once I've been transferred, if I get the person's voicemail message, I always have a prepared voice message script in front of me. I never wing it leaving voice messages and I never wing it when doing cold calls. I'm always prepared. I know what I want to say. I've got the script in front of me. Makes things go a lot easier and you're not stumbling over words. And remember this, if you want to be perceived as a professional, well professionals have well thought out plans on cold calling and prospecting. Now, here's a video on cold calling scripts if you want to take a peek at that one. It will help you too. Tip number four, don't get discouraged. You just got to know you're going to make more phone calls than you'll actually have in engaged conversations. That's just the way it is. It's the nature of sales and you got to accept it. I actually like cold calling. I find it to be challenging. And I love testing different scripts. I'll split test. So if I do 50 phone calls or 100 phone calls, I'll split it in half and I'll have two scripts that I'll test and see which one's the better script. You got to make it fun. And I got to tell you, I've had the best conversations with total strangers when I've cold called them and they've led to appointments. You have to be casual and friendly. And my last quick tip is this. Tip number five, you're only calling to get the appointment. Don't sell. The reason why people get hung up on is because they go into a sales pitch. You're only cold calling to get the appointment. Those are my quick cold calling tips. And hi, I'm Christine Harrington, the Savvy Sales Lady, your personal YouTube sales coach. And I'm here to help you grow in sales. And if you have a problem in sales that you're struggling with, put it down in the comment section below and I'll be sure and answer your question in an upcoming video. Now give me a thumbs up if you're willing to try these cold calling quick tips. And if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'd love for you to be a part of the Savvy Sales community. And last, remember this, sales is a journey. It's not a quick trip around the block. I'll see you on the next video. Daddy, spread your wings and fly.